Kings Hockey is brought to you by Kia. To learn more, visit MySoCalKia.com. And by Mercury Insurance. Mercury Insurance will rock your ride with a free Kings car kit when you get a quote today at mercuryinsurance.com slash kings. Welcome back to the nation's capital here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Canadian Tire Center, the Kings and the Senators. The Kings continue a four-game road trip. Of course, they've won the first two. Afternoon action, morning action as we look at it from Los Angeles. Dodge matchup in goal. We just touched on this in the open. Regardless of the numbers that Ben Scrivens put up, you go with a hot guy. Who gives you the best chance to get two? But right now, that is Martin Jones. Not many people arguing with that. And for the Ottawa Senators, he was their MVP last year, Craig Anderson. Big win in the last win. 40 saves in that last game against the Sabres. They feel if he gets back on his game, obviously a much better chance for the Senators to have some success. The officials for today's game, Dave Jackson. There he is right there along with Don Van Massenhoven. They're the referees. Scott Cherry and Mike Civics. They're on the lines. The linesmen call the offsides and the icings. Coming up right now, tonight's Fox Sports West face-up delivered by Sensa. Right now, play-by-play -play Hall of Famer, Bob Miller. All right, Jim, thank you very much. The opening face-off won by the Ottawa Senators, and uh, they're trying to see if they can build on the win they had here two nights ago against the Buffalo Sabres as the Kings move it up ahead to center ice to Dwight King on the left wing. Here's King moving in. He shoots, and he scores. It went off the goaltender's shoulder and into the net. The first shot of the game, and it comes with... The Kings coming down the left wing as Paul McLean looks on, and Dwight King gets the goal that makes it one to nothing, King. Well, it's a backhand pass by Carter to King, and now, you know, the centers keep it on the outside. There's no deflection right there. It looks like Anderson is still moving which is always an indication, of course, that the goaltender is not set. He was never comfortable. Perhaps he was surprised that Dwight King decided to shoot that. We saw the reaction of the head coach, Paul McLean, of the Ottawa Senators. Now it's a mental battle for this team. Strong game last game. The goaltending was exceptional last game. Now they have a, you know, an error early, and they're behind by one. Now the puck back into the Ottawa zone once again. Brown chased it down the corner, didn't get to it. So the first shot on goal today goes into the net of the Kings with a one to nothing lead as Dowdy back to get it and he gets it up to Jared Stoll. Stoll's pass comes back across the blue line to center ice and the Ottawa Senators try to take it away and they do. Picked up now by Kyle Torres. Torres' pass broken up by Dowdy. Bob, I was out to dinner last night and Craig Anderson was at the same restaurant as I here in Ottawa, just outside of Ottawa. And uh, I said feeling? I was going to put something in his food. Maybe I did, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it was, Ooh, they're giving it to him here. They're giving it to him. Yeah, he made a an couple easy. of uh, Bronx cheers here early on, of course, because of that first one getting in. Now on the right side, a shot from there is wide to the left side by Eric Condra of Ottawa. Puck comes back to Condra on the right side, but tipped away from him, and the Kings get it out to center ice. Chased down by Richards. Richards in the Ottawa zone. Richards behind the net, hangs on, throws it up the middle, and just didn't connect with Toffoli. And it's cleared out to center ice. Kings slap it right back into the Ottawa zone. Stopped there by Anderson and gets it up to Eric Condra. Condra now over on the left side. A shot from there is blocked as the Kings block that and bring it back out to center ice. Back across the line here on the left side is Clifford. Clifford gets stopped there. Taken away by Lewis. Trevor Lewis activated just before the game. And he missed nine games with an injury. He gets back in action today. Colin Fraser is put on injured reserve. He got hit the other night in that game in Toronto. Senators get it back to the blue line. Shot from there is wide and then flipped up in the air and gloved by Martin Jones. That almost went in off of him. The way it went in off of uh, Anderson at the other end, but Jones was ready to grab it out of midair. I think, Bob, again, his reaction is part of what we just talked about in the open where it looks so dangerous because it's kind of popped up right there in the crease. And that's, uh, you know, it's kind of like infield fly rule in baseball where who's going to take it? What's going on? Well, he just kind of just, you know, slowly reached up with his glove and held on. And again, that's the type of thing that trickles down onto the bench, onto the ice, and the center is looking to tie this thing up, of course, after the King scoring on the first shot. The King goal by King from Carter and Muzzin, 21 seconds after the opening faceoff. Puck tipped down into the Ottawa zone by 
Kopitar and played by Anderson. He sends it around the boards and the Ottawa Senators bring it back out to center ice. It was tipped by Colin Greening and then sent across the line, but the Kings get back to get it. Cleared up the center, but the Ottawa Senators take it away. Here is Pajot driving down the left side. He shoots and Jones stops this and he hangs on. Then he gets a little bump right at the whistle there that the Kings take exception to. Pretty good reception by Pajot on the outside. Good speed. Now we're going to take a look at the goal, Bob, and of course it's a bad angle shot, so Watch the Kings, though, on the transition. One pass right on the stick. Other pass all the way across the ice stick. Then backhand pass, stick. So credit the, the passing there to keep everything going as quickly as possible. Now that's a stoppable shot. That save has to be made by an NHL goaltender, by just about any goaltender, at the same time. Credit the Kings with nonstop, almost one touch when they moved in transition to get up the ice. Off the draw in the Kings' zone. Senators move it back to the blue line, and it's knocked down in front by the King Slava Voinov. Senators held it in for a moment, but now the Kings have control again, and it's cleared out to center ice. Cleared ahead by Voinov. Picked up now, left side. In front is Brown, and he couldn't jam it in. Comes back on the right side to Williams. Justin Williams pinned along the boards over on the far side by former King Joe Corvo. Back to the blue line, Voinov. Voinov drives it around the boards. Ottawa zone. Kings with a 1-0 lead, but the... Senators take over here. We're in the first period. Bob Miller along with Jim Fox. Puck comes up the right wing side to Eric Condra. Condra out of Trenton, Michigan. Throws it down the right side into the corner. Hard check thrown down in there as the puck comes free. And going for it is Richards who got dragged down. Still a battle at the right point. Senators hold it in. Send it around the boards and uh, to the blue line where a shot is wide to the right side. It comes back to the right point. Held in there but Passed by the youngster who just got called up before the last game, Cody Cece. His shot went wide. Every building is the same dimension, but they can have a little difference. And we're seeing that here in Ottawa, Bob. You can tell a little bit quicker when the puck's along the, the dash of boards down low. A lot of quickness right there, a lot of bouncing. And that makes it a fun game to watch because the pace picks up just because it doesn't slow down when the puck gets on the boards. Power play, let's keep an eye on tonight what to watch for because the Kings have two games in a row with power play goals and it struggled. Straight line, the Kings had that in Montreal. Maybe even, even though you had cross ice passes on the Kings goal, straight line means move it quick, keep it simple. And the Kings did that. Toffoli, CC, former Ottawa 67, young kids trying to prove themselves. Of course, Toffoli, outstanding rookie season so far. Face off in the Ottawa zone right here as Lewis wins the draw. Then a shot just wide by Martinez. Played by CeCe. He's from this area here, and so he's a big crowd favorite, even though it's only his second NHL game. Puck comes up in the air and out to center and back down into the King zone, and icing called against the Ottawa Senators. You know, with CC, he certainly grew up here. Bob, he played his youth hockey here. He played his junior hockey here. Now he's playing his NHL hockey here, so... Trevor Lewis gets a chat with him yesterday at practice and just gave me, oh, you're doing okay? He said, yeah, feel great. Feel great. Now, of course, Colin Frazier is out now. The timing works with Lewis coming back. Is he going to be a little winded? He looks like he's winded right now. He's going to see the, at least that fourth line duty. We'll see if he gets a little bit more power play and, excuse me, penalty kill. That's the normal situation when he played to get a little bit more ice time. Though it's his first game back, maybe a lot of times he'll go right back on the penalty kill. Dwight King in the corner to Carter. His shot scores! Carter scores to make it two to nothing. And King set that one up. Yeah, yeah Daryl Sutter was talking about Jeff Carter, and you see Paul McClain, and he's just trying to get something going. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to get the goaltender. And I think we're going to get a switch. Wow. I think we're going to get a switch already. So there's the battle, and quickly. Daryl Sutter was saying the other day, I hope that Jeff Carter gets back on that groove again that he had early in the season. And Carter just got himself and, and waited. He didn't smother the play. King was doing the job in the corner. Kopitar was doing the job in the corner. No need for Carter to go help and kind of crowd the situation. He hung back. And for that reason, he was able to be the trigger man. Receive, turn his body, shoot all in one motion, and quickly the Kings have a 2-0 lead. Robin Leonard comes in now as uh, Anderson goes out. He, he faced four shots, gave up two goals, and that was the end of him. A quick look today, this afternoon here in Ottawa for Craig Anderson. Puck comes into the King zone. King with it there. Carter gets his ninth goal of the year. King will get an assist on it. Puck thrown back down into the corner of the King zone. 
Here's Dowdy along the boards. Double team there, but his pass to the blue line. Tipped out the center. Here's Dwight King. King with Kopitar. King drives it into the Ottawa zone. Kings want to get a change here. In the... Uh, Kings Kopitar trying to get to it, but the Ottawa Senators have it, and they bring it deeper into their own zone. They want to make sure, Bob, that you keep the pressure on. So only two guys change, not all three at the same time. Carter and King change. Kopitar stays out there, so the Senators don't have a free reign to just walk out of the zone. Kings get to it in their own zone, but it's uh, batted away, and then up the middle and out the center ice. The goal by Carter is ninth. The assists go to King and Kopitar at 4-18 to make it 2-0 King. And even though the Kings have that two-goal lead here with obviously the offense shown, I think it's important that they make sure they get to their game, which is solid defense. And, and right now, there's no hesitation for the Kings to get out of their own zone. The pressure is not working, at least right now, on the forecheck for the centers. It's one pass by the Kings, two passes, and they're getting out. Chris Neal sends it down the right side, jumps down into the corner. He throws a check there in the Kings zone. Centers try to dig it out. Greening has it. Then a shot wide to the left side. As Pajo got that shot. He had a weird bounce there, Bob. It looked like it was going to go all the way around to the far side. It stayed on the near side. Now Pajo again into the right wing corner. Senators with it in the King zone. Pass back in front. Broken up there and played by Greening, but he cleared it himself out to center ice. Yeah, the centers did have some time, and they looked back door. Tyler to Foley. Another play, smart play, makes this time without the puck. He made sure the defenseman back door was not open. Good body position to break it up. You saw that back door play. Is that why you jumped out of your seat there uh, for a moment? Well, uh, one time, you know. I, I thought he was going to be open. Tyler said, no way, I've got him covered. <laughs> puck taken by the Ottawa Senators as they come back out to center ice now. Sent uh, across the line, knocked down by Spezza. Spezza's backhander tipped in front and into the corner. Senators with it again, trying to recover from a bad start at the blue line. A shot blocked, but held in again. Right side, Wirkosh in front, shot tipped away into the corner again. That's two times now that Muzzin breaks it up. First time body, second time stick. Now the loose puck. Kings get it quickly up to Jordan Nolan. Nolan pressured along the boards, protects the puck, gets it into Lewis. Lewis to Muzzin. Muzzin over to Robin Regeer, and Regeer plays the boards and gets it out to center ice. Senators almost had too many men on the ice. Yeah, McCulloch was coming on, and he did the right thing. He just kind of stayed. If he plays the puck there, that's all too many men, but he just backed off and let it kind of happen. Then he finally backed, jumped back on the bench, and looks like it's going to be a penalty here against Billy Mitchell. Forced situation. Smith dumps it in, kind of the same side dump. Mitchell turns and takes him. Looks like interference. Hook hold. King with the first one. King with a pass on the second one. Carter scores. King's lead. Good enough. Well, Mitchell gets the hook again. He was just trying to buy some time, turn around, stick in the wrong position so the centers have a chance to get back within one. The Kings' second goal comes on a cleanly won faceoff by Andre Kopitar. It doesn't happen as quick as you think it would, but watch. Two guys down low. Look at Carter. Just following in the high slot. When he takes it, no waste of time. Kings lead 2 to nothing. Kopitar wins the draw, chases the puck along the boards, and then clears it. Kopitar with the assist has taken the point lead again for the Kings with 28. Richards and Kopitar were tied in points on the King team with 27 coming into the game. Just a good example there, Bob, of Jeff Carter finding the soft spot. You don't always have to drive, and, you know, coaches are going to harp on you at times. you got to go to the area, the front of the net, the blue paint, drive there, but that time he would have been covered. So you hang back, you take the pass. Kings have killed 13 of the last 14 penalties and 26 of the last 28, and a pass by Spezza. He cleared it himself back to center right. You know, Spezza thought he had the support there, and he's more of a passer than a shooter, although this He's shooting the puck a little bit more and scoring some more goals. Check right in front of the King bench there on Corvo and the puck cleared and Corvo bent over, headed over to his own bench. Yeah, Dowdy was standing up on Corvo. Corvo stopped on a dime and Dowdy looked like he reached out with his forearm and maybe, maybe got a piece of it. Here's Kyle Torres. He went to shoot and didn't have the puck. He got checked just as he went to shoot. Held in by Carlson. Left side, a shot from there is up high and off the glass and back out to center ice. 45 seconds left to go in the King penalty. We're in the first period. The Kings ahead 2 to nothing over the Ottawa Senators. Senators 13th in the league on the power play coming in. Torres again with a shot wide. Sent back in front but intercepted by Regeer. He cleared it out to center ice. Senators back to get it in the neutral zone. 
Come into the king zone. Kyle Torres with it. Taken away and cleared back out to center by Regeer. 18 seconds left to go in the king penalty. Senators start back out of their own zone once again with the power play. CeCe sends it off the left side. Comes around the right wing boards and thrown behind the net where Dowdy sweeps at it. And it is not cleared yet. Dowdy gets it again along the boards. Can he clear it this time? Yes, out to center ice. And the Kings are back at full strength. So the Kings have now killed 14 of the last 15 penalties. Taken at center ice by the Senators and thrown in by McCulloch. Elon McCulloch put it behind the net. Senators still have it. Back to the right point. CeCe with it there. The rookie shoots. Blocked in front. Kings have it again, and it is cleared by Muzzin up ahead to center ice. You know it's early, Bob, but Jake Muzzin has been instrumental breaking up plays a couple times, more than a couple. And that last one was just one of those plays where he fronted. He got body position closer to the shooter to block the shot. Here's King. King comes to center. He's got two points already. So does Carter. He throws it in. Kings want to get a line change. Up is brought to the blue line and then up to center ice. Senators with it. Sent ahead there by Chris Phillips. Down into the corner. Now broken up. Kyle Clifford with it. He got it back out to center ice. There's Chris Neal getting on the ice. Of course, he's trying to stir things up with the way yep. things have gone. And he can do that. Very physical. Very smart, though. Paget, right side. Or Pajot, he sent it wide. Hucked along the boards and then sent behind the net where it's cleared by Willie Mitchell to the right point. Held in there by Corvo, who's back in action after being shaken up. Puck comes into the right wing corner. Now Condra's pass taken away by the Kings. Here's Richards up the center. Richards still with it. Sends it left side to Kyle Clifford. Clifford driving into the corner. Clifford checked there. Protects the puck. Gets some help. Can get it out to Regeer at the point. And his shot deflected. Robin Leonard has come in here in the first period. Early in the first period. Replaced Craig Anderson after the Kings scored two quick goals. Puck held in by Regeer at the left point. He drives it back in deep. And the Senators back in to get it. 8.54 to go in the first period. Puck still in the Senators' zone. Corvo chasing it in. And he gives it away. Shot by Stoll and a save by Leonard. Now cleared to the blue line and out to center ice. Kings with it again. They move it ahead to Justin Williams. Williams pass into the zone. Was knocked down. Played now by Jason Spezza. Spezza gets it over there. Condra. Condra checked there, and Brown has it for the game. Muzzin again, yeah. standing up at the right time. Whoa. Brown gets a hard hit as he came across the line. He got hit by Eric Riba. I think uh, Brown kind of put himself in that position. He was spinning just before the hit was uh, taken, and Riba trying to get things going. So you, you can't blame the centers. They're trying to pick it up physically to just turn this momentum around. Lewis into Dowdy. Dowdy got hit by Griba, and the puck cleared by Ottawa. Back into the King zone. Muzzin back to get it. His pass at center ice, still a battle for it right in front of the penalty box now. As it's dug out by Carcillo, he throws it down into the Ottawa zone. Carcillo throws a check at Weirkosh, and the puck is picked up by the Senators, and McCulloch sends it in the King zone. Over to, hustling over is Martinez. He couldn't clear it out, though. Now passing the corner, played again by Zabinijad. Because Zabinijad to the blue line, a shot blocked in front and played by Carcillo out to center ice. Taken away by Cody Cece. Throws it right back into the King zone and Martinez over to get it. He eludes a check with a nice spinning move and gets it up ahead now to Kopitar. Here's Andre Kopitar. Throws it down into the Ottawa zone. He got hit well after he got rid of the puck and no interference called. Puck comes uh, into the corner now and chased down again, but on the right side, King Cabot shot. He is knocked down in front, score on the rebound. Right in front was Kopitar, and the Kings have a three to nothing lead. And White King once again, Bob, was instrumental as Paul McClain looks on. We've seen three looks of Paul McClain so far, and I'm sure he does not want it this way. But it was that initial pressure on the forecheck of the Kings. Carter gets it started. Other side, it'll be Dwight King right there. He gets his thing. He makes Conacher move the puck before he wanted to. Then the coverage breaks down in front. With Kopitar going to the front, there's no stick on stick. CC has Kopitar. He has good body position, but the puck is down low, and the sticks are down low. CC can't get it, and the Kings, another four check. They lead it 3 to nothing. Kopitar gets his 10th, so the Kings goals by Dwight King is 8th. Carter is ninth. Kopitar is 10th. Who's going for 11? Wow. 
Bring in the center has had a lot to do with that one on coverage and uh, kind of coughing the puck up. But again, the Kings in good position. The forecheck, the spacing. It just seems like they're reading off each other so well in this game. So someone is open as soon as the Kings get the puck. It's happened three times. They lead it. Three zip. Looks simple again on the finish, but the Kings get the forecheck going a couple times in its stick position a couple times. That makes it work. You'll see the dump in. There's going to be a turnover coming up right here with Phillips right on the stick. You see Carter. Then it goes to the other side. There's pressure by Kopitar. Watch right there. Stick of King. Never a hard hit, but you can see the centers never had a chance to really get enough time with the puck to make the pass they wanted to. And that's facing again. There was always a safety man for the King. It wasn't three men deep. Two men at a time. One guy supporting. It was worked out more than a couple times for the Kings here in the first. Well, they just made the announcement on that King goal by Kopitar. And the only assist they give is to Voinov. No, so they're saying King didn't get a stick on it on the turnover. That does not mean that he was not instrumental on the play again because I believe it was Conacher down there and I could have the wrong guy, but King had his stick extended and he forced the turnover. He forced the centers into making the pass before they wanted to. So that pressure can come in a whole bunch of different ways. I think Daryl Sutter was talking about it the other day. Just be the guy that gets there. Get there first. And the Kings did that twice. Once with a stick of Carter, once with a stick of King. And then Kopadar, he benefits and puts the puck in the net. Kings in their own zone. Stoll gets it up ahead to Brown at center ice. Now chased in by Williams. Williams going into the boards hard there along with Rearcott. Puck is held in for a moment by the Kings, but now brought back out to center ice. Jason Spezza for Ottawa. Right side shoots, and it's wide to the left. Rebound, Williams. He tipped it in the corner. Kings are making some nice short passes, Jim, to get out of trouble and get it out of the zone. That's trust. That's just trust back there. Know that you have your teammate there to support you. And again, that straight line hockey that uh, Jeff Carter was talking about, that means no hesitation. That's what we're seeing. Muzzin shoots and a save and a rebound. Williams shoots and is blocked in front by Weirkosh. Tipped into the corner and kind of looked like a high stick maybe, but nothing called. Brown gets knocked down. Here's Muzzin. Tried to throw it in front. Muzzin goes for it again after it was intercepted by Spezza. And Muzzin has it. Came all the way from the left, behind the net, over to the right. And now the Senators have to cover it to the side of their net for a face-off in their zone. 3 nothing, Kings. We'll be back in a moment. Hey everybody, Patrick O'Neill here with you. Welcome back to Ottawa where the Kings lead the Senators 3 to nothing. Well, it's been 17 straight games where the Kings have not allowed a first period goal. They're calling that an NHL record. Let's call that a modern day record. We go back to 87-88. It's been three different goalies. It's been Quick, Scrivens, and Jones. And trivia question, the last goal the Kings have allowed in the first five weeks ago today was Shea Weber and the Predators. But it comes down to defense, Papa Jim. Yeah, you're right, Patrick. And next time, Pat, get a helmet on down there. <laughs> yeah, get a I helmet should. on. <laughs> Puck comes up to Eric Condra for the Senators at center ice. Into the King zone. Checked along all the boards there. And the Senators keep it alive and a shot wide by Zabinajad and all the way back down into the Ottawa zone. Zabinajad, Mika Zabinajad, his dad is Iranian. His dad immigrated to Sweden when he was 20 years old. And Mika grew up playing hockey in Sweden. His mother is Swedish. So well, that's the situation there with him. And Puck comes down into the King zone. Taken there and a shot wide. Knocked away there into the corner by Jones. Carter with it for the Kings. And it is taken by Dwight King. But his pass hit escape comes right back to him. He's got three points already in the game here in the first period. Here's King, left side, driving in deep. Tried to throw it in front to Carter, but it was tipped away and picked up by the Ottawa Senators. Back up to center ice. Thrown deep behind the King net, and Jones breaks it up there. Kings have it. Back they come to center ice. Kopitar gives it off on the right side. Cutting in now, and a pass back in front comes down to the left wing side to, to uh, King. King got it from Carter. Carter looking for the loose puck. Senators still in their own zone with 3.56 to go in the first period. Back into the King zone, and Muzzin picks it up there and gives it to Dowdy. Dowdy spins away from Kyle Torres, gets it out to center ice. Here is Clifford for the Kings. Clifford 
Sends it back behind the net. Chris Phillips going for there for the center. Got it out to center, but taken away by the Kings. And Billy Mitchell took a hard hit by Neal, but Mitchell threw it back deep in the Ottawa zone. Now it gets by at the blue line, back into the Kings zone, and Mitchell going back again with Neal hot on his trail. Neal takes him into the boards. Buck is picked up by the Kings, though, in their own zone. Now centers take it away, up the middle, shot by Phillips, wide to the right side. Held in again. Centers with their best pressure of the night right now, or of the day, I should say, comes back to CC. Then a save by Jones right in front as Phillips was down there in front. Buck comes into the corner again. Kings trying to get out of their own zone, and Martinez goes behind the net. Sends it up the right side. There's a pass off the boards to Richards. Richards up the center with Muzzin. Richards throws it down in deep. I think Paul McLean will have a message to his team. They'll be talking about normally fourth-line guys being the most effective what guys here so far in this period because they're getting in deep and taking the body. Shot and a save there on the shot by Spezza. And a save by Jones. And the puck comes all the way back into the auto zone. Chased down by Williams. He gets checked there. Kings pick it up, though, behind the net. Kings with a 3-0 lead. Puck along the boards and still a battle. Now a penalty coming up against Ottawa. Penalty against the Ottawa Senators. Here's Dowdy in deep. Dowdy tried to throw it in front. It's deflected out of play. And the Kings go on the power play. Yeah, the Kings forwards very aggressive. No hesitation. And Dustin Brown draws a penalty on a hold. 2013 LA Kings Holly Packs now on sale. Holly Packs start as low as 199 per ticket to any pre-selected home game in December, January, and February. Package also includes ticket to the Stadium Series game, Dodger Stadium, January 25th, and an LA Kings fleece blanket. One Triple Eight Kings layer is at LAKings.com slash Holly Pack. Before, if you do it before December 17th, you receive a free game. That will be the December 17th game against the Edmonton Oilers and much more. So Kings Holly Packs now on sale. Ottawa penalty goes to Clark MacArthur. Yeah, Bob, they changed it up. Look at this. I haven't seen this. I, I don't know how long it's been. Oh, MacArthur it. went to the box, and he sat down. He sat down in the box. <laughs> he was ready to serve the penalty. And then someone, I guess the referee, spotted, and it wasn't the guy that he spotted on the ice. I assumed it was down low in the corner with Dustin Brown turning and spinning. And that was the reason for the hold. King's looking to make it four. So Spezza goes in the penalty box. And off the draw here. Buck is picked up at the right point by the Kings on the power play. Here's Dowdy. Kings with a 3 nothing lead. Back to the blue line. Held in there by Richards, but he got stopped. He got back to recover, though, after the puck was tipped away by Zach Smith. Kopitar stopped at the blue line, sent it deeper into the Ottawa zone, and now it's cleared all the way down the ice. Ottawa 24th in penalty killing in the league. The King power play is 20th. In the earlier game against Ottawa this year, the Kings were two out of six with a man advantage. Carter gets it back to the right point. Now over to Richards. Here's Richards. His shot blocked. Richards goes for it again, but it's cleared back out to center. Cleared there by Colin Greening. Kings have it. Here's Dowdy across the line. Dowdy over to Williams. Back to Dowdy. Into the corner. Dowdy still with it. Hangs on. Pass up the middle. Deflected. And the Kings keep it alive in the Ottawa zone. Back to the blue line to Muzzin. Muzzin feeds it over to Brown. Brown got it down in deep out of the reach of Williams. Chasing it down his stole. Comes back on the right side. Pass in front. And covered by Robin Leonard, the goaltender for Ottawa. And he hangs on to it with a minute four to go in the first period. The Kings get the second unit out there. A little bit more jump. At least a, kind of a simpler approach by Brown, Williams, and Stoll, where it looks like they're taking a five-on-five -five mentality and they're just kind of forechecking normally. And that can be effective, too. Jared Stoll has picked up the numbers offensively since he's kind of changed roles, now playing with Williams and Brown most of the time. Martinez out there with Voinov, so the Kings looking to keep that power play going once again, looking for a goal in their third straight game with the man advantage. On the Kings' second goal by Carter, they've taken away both assists on Throwing it down into the corner. The assist originally went to King and to Kopitar, but now they've eliminated those two assists. So apparently it's Carter unassisted, but I don't get that. We'll see if that changes. It may have been directed to Carter right up from the stick of the center. It looked like the Kings were involved, at least forcing a bad pass. Well, maybe they have a different view. Again, they take a look at things. They slow it down. They take a look at replays and try to get it right as far as the goals and assists. 
Now 29 seconds to go in the first period. Kings get it back out to center ice. Kings have five seconds to go in their power play, and that's going to be over right about now. Senators back at full strength. Spezza steps out of the penalty box, and he's got the puck. Here's Spezza down the right side. Spezza shoots wide to the left side. It caroms all the way back to the blue line. Held in there, sent down in deep, and Spezza couldn't hang on to it. Comes around the right side. Kings get to it down the corner, though, and that's the end of the first period, and the Kings have not allowed a first period goal now in the last. 18 consecutive games. Yeah, we saved Patrick O'Neill from the old jinx when he brought that up with about five minutes remaining. Paul McLean walks off and just a tough situation. The first goal, a bad angle shot. The second one, not the hardest shot in the world. Third one, right in front. But uh, for the Kings, credit them with moving the puck quickly. No hesitation. Again, that comes because you have a lot of support. Someone's open. He can move the puck. Kings lead. Three to nothing. Well, we thought Dwight King had three points. Apparently now has only two, but he's going to visit with Patrick O'Neill right after this. Kings Hockey is brought to you by AT&T U-verse TV. Check availability at 1-800-KICK-ATT. Rethink possible. By Honda. Start something special with a great deal on a Honda now at your Honda dealer. And by Jack in the Box. Try the new Fajita Ranch Melt for only $3.99 plus tax at a participating Jack in the Box near you. Welcome back to the Tire Center here in Ottawa, just outside of uh, the capital city. That man right there, Jake Muzzin, Bob, we called his name a few times, mostly defensively. But he also had his feet moving to move pucks and get the Kings out of the zone. But very smart position and three times at least good use of the stick to break up a play. And the second period underway. It comes right toward Martin Jones in the Kings zone and Drew Doughty back to get it. Not to uh, put uh, the air out of the balloon, but I would just remind everyone that in the previous game between these two teams at Staples Center, the Kings had a 3-0 lead and got tied 3-3 and had to go to overtime to win it. So it's 3-0 here, but it's only the start of the second period. Puck sent all the way back down into the King zone, and Kopitar back in to get it quickly over to Doughty. Here's Drew Doughty up to center ice. Now to Muzzin. Muzzin drives it in. Leonard knocks it down into the corner. Martin Jones in goal for the Kings today. First time in NHL history a player has allowed an average of less than one goal a game while winning his first four appearances ever in the NHL. Here on the right side, stole with a shot. It's knocked away and to the blue line and cleared out to center ice, right? broken up by Brown. Important for the Kings to just get position here in the second period, keep that pressure on like they have, be available, get open. That was a huge key in period number one. And discipline, make sure you don't give any life to the other team by taking penalties that are not needed. So offensive zone, stay out of the box. Senators in their own zone, trying to regroup there as Chris Phillips picks it up now. Phillips, their number one pick in 96. He's in his 16th year. Puck comes up ahead to center ice. Broken up there by the Kings, but taken away now by Kyle Torres. And coming back is Richards. Torres with a shot and a save by Jones. And a little shoving in front there, but... Uh, Mike Jones. Richards, Bobby, he had it. And he broke the play up. I mean, he did a real good job defensively, but then he kind of... Looked like he was passing it back across the ice and it ended up with one of the Senators. So ended up there's the good play defensively. Then he tries to make the pass and Ryan ends up and no wasted time right there by Ryan. He just shovels it towards. Greening came in behind and took a little shot at Voinoff and that's what upset Richards. But maybe Mike kind of upset with himself for that pass and that attempt and you see the push from behind. And so the Kings uh, end zone face off. Keep it going forward here. Spezza, who had three shots in the first period, takes the draw. Here's uh, Patrick Wierkos for Ottawa. In deep. Checked behind the net by Martinez, who stays right with him. Martinez battles there with Wierkos, and it is taken by the Senators again. Spezza. All the way to the blue line. Spezza turns and throws it in behind the net. Taken there and chased around the right wing side. Back to the blue line. Here's Carlson. He shoots and a save by Jones. And he covers up. And Neal's on the ice right now with that line. And he's trying to stir it up. We mentioned his name, Bob, Chris Neal, in the first period because of how effective he was physically on the fourth line. I think Paul McLean has spotted that and obviously moved him up a couple of notches here. Out there with Spets and MacArthur. 
a lot of room between Carlson and the net. And you see Neil, he's there. Martinez makes sure nothing happening as far as the second chance, but also the battles in front. Make sure Jones, no second chance, gobbles it up. With a little bit of traffic, so it wasn't one of those where the goaltender sees it all the way, but Chris Neal getting a little promotion here because of the way he was effective in the first period. The centers want to see more of that in the second. Last year, Neal, 144 penalty minutes to lead the Ottawa Senators. Now Joe Corvo, his shot blocked out the center ice by Justin Williams. Sent right back in by the Ottawa Senators. Second period just underway here in Ottawa. Kings with a 3 nothing lead. Up ahead to Stoll at center ice. Now flipped down and deep by Brown. Corvo goes back in to get it. He sends it up the right side, but it's knocked down into the corner. Kings go for it again. Stoll at it on his stick. Couldn't hang on. Taken away by Ottawa. In fact, they come up to center ice. On the left wing side, taken there by Zach Smith. Drives it in deep. Stoll for the Kings. Now the Kings back up to center ice. But fired off the boards and uh, played by Ottawa back to center ice. Taken there and McCulloch sends it deep into the Kings zone. Broken up. Kings have it. Ottawa changing on the fly and the Kings back up to center ice. Pass ahead now and thrown by Nolan back behind the net. Leonard cuts it off. Gives it right back to Jordan Nolan. Nolan down the corner. Gets it on his stick and is checked there. And the Senators take it away and clear it out to center ice. Kings back to get it. Here is uh, Lewis sending it back uh, down in deep. We mentioned earlier, Lewis just reactivated. He missed nine games with a lower body injury. Puck taken there and fired down into the Kings zone now by Corey Conacher. Still in the Kings zone. Now played off the boards and Nolan clears it out to center. Chase down the right wing side. Lewis trying to get there, but icing called against the Kings. And it was back to what the Kings uh, experienced earlier on this road trip in Montreal. They led 2-0 after the first period. And again, uh, Andre was talking, and I mentioned in the first intermission, don't get fooled by the score. Understand how the game has gone. In that game, Bob, and on Montreal, if it wasn't for Jones early, it could have been the other way around. Yeah. So you kind of analyze. You have to be honest with yourself as an individual and as a team. And in that game in Montreal, the Kings went on to play excellent in period number two and three and really took over the game, dominated the game. But... You know, they find themselves in a similar position. Two weak goals in the first to get a 3-0 lead. And now you want to build what you did in Montreal and keep going on the forecheck and, and slowly but surely kind of grind down the other team. Faceoff comes right toward uh, Jones. He covers it up and a little shoving again with Colin Greening down in there and you know, getting course, upset. The center is going to try anything, yeah. you know, just yeah. kind of, you know, face wash and elbow here, just jab you there just to see if it can knock you off your game and, and maybe turn things around. Burris will take the faceoff for Ottawa. He was the number one pick by Phoenix back in 2007. Played one year at the University of Wisconsin. Faceoff to the right of Jones and the to the blue line to Carlson. His shot is up high, knocked away by Jones and out of play. Well, Kings fans, when you get an auto insurance quote from Mercury, they'll rock your ride uh, with a free LA Kings car kit, including an LA Kings car flag and keychain. Then purchase a Mercury car insurance policy. You'll receive a limited edition, personally signed Dustin Brown Mini Locker as part of the LA Kings Mini Locker promotion series. Visit mercuryinsurance.com slash kings for more details. Kings in their own zone as uh, Muzzin gives it to Dowdy and Dowdy up to Carter. Carter to center, checked by Torres. Puck sent across the line by Kopitar. Down into the corner. Here's Dwight King. Two points in the game today. A goal and an assist. Puck is taken by Kopitar. In deep and in front is Carter. And he just couldn't tip it in. Neat little tip pass yes. by King across to Carter. Great pad save by Leonard to spread out. Now in front, Carter shoots and a save by Leonard. Puck is cleared back out to center. So the Kings with two chances to take a 4-0 lead in the game. But couldn't get it. To go past the goaltender, Robin Leonard. Now for the right side, a shot wide off the boards. Not covered yet by Jones. Kings still go for it. It was Muzzin diving for it back toward the boards. And the loose puck is played by Kyle Clifford. Clifford checked into the boards there and knocked down. And the loose puck taken by the Kings. They get it to Kopitar. Now a quick pass over to Doughty. He'll take it off the boards. Gives it right back over to Muzzin. A little scramble here. The centers would like that. They'd want that. But the Kings had the two best chances. Both of them by Carter. Neal takes a run 
at uh, Muzzin. Then he put his hand up to his head. Uh, Neil did. I don't know if he got more of the glass or boards or what. Right, right King looking for another point. Whether it would be point four or point three, it really wouldn't matter. Kopitar biting time. And there was King. He tipped that puck, I believe, between his own legs. And then Carter had it on the far side. There, there it is. Yes, it is. Wow. And again, credit the goaltender there because that puck is changing direction so many times. And because King passed it between his legs, it's deceptive. You can't really see where the pass is coming from. And Lennon really had to follow that. That's focus all the way on the puck. Jeff thought maybe for a split second he had the, the fourth one of the game, but that line has been pretty good so far for the game. Yeah, they, they certainly have. Face off outside the blue line and the puck taken by the Kings. 3 0 lead here in the second period for the Kings. All the goals in the first period. King, Carter, and Kopitar scoring for the Kings. Senators moving up ahead to center ice. And offside at the blue line as Zabinijad brought it across the blue line. Ottawa offside. The numbers don't always tell the story, but sometimes we can recap exactly what's going on. Two points for King, plus three. Two points for Kopitar, plus three. Two points for Carter, plus three. And again, on Jeff Carter's goal, Bob, we saw a replay where it looked like CeCe, the defenseman, turned and spun and backhanded the puck. He was under uh, incredible pressure. Kopitar and King were right on him, but maybe that's the reason for the unassisted, since CeCe made the pass to Carter, in essence. Although, again, I thought he was under pressure and really didn't try to do it. Just went off his stick. King's got it up ahead to the blue line now, and broken stick back behind the play, and an Ottawa Senator out of the play. Puck comes down in behind the net. Here's Williams. Williams going for it there, and Brown gets knocked into the boards. He's slow getting up. Penalty against Ottawa coming up. Delayed call. Mitchell shoots. Saved by Leonard. And now the Kings upset with that check on Brown. And again, if possible, if possible, yeah, just maintain composure here because the other team's getting the penalty. And that's what Martinez does. He backs off at the smart time. Dustin Brown draws another penalty. He's been very active in this game. He went over the bench, and there you see him sitting over on the bench. Uh, trying to shake this off a little bit. And there it is, he dumped into the corner, and they both knock into each other. And in all honesty, that's two guys going after the puck. Eric Greiba. Ottawa penalty, two-minute minor, high stick. Yeah, there was a stick when Greiba went across. To make the contact we'll see if the stick does come up again this lean-in is okay everything's okay at this point but then right there yeah it comes up off the forehead of dustin brown so he was falling off balance driver was and he tried to keep himself on balance and use the head of dustin brown to do it then you get to go to the box for that think second power play of the game they are 0 for one puck comes around the boards and he is going to be cleared by ottawa back up to center right taken away by the king they got it out to center ice. The Senators did, but then it was taken away from Zach Smith. And the Kings start back with a power play now and a 3-0 lead here in the second period. Drop back over to Kopitar. Kopitar across the line. Gets it over to Toffoli. Tyler Toffoli. And the offseason uh, off in the summer, he lives right near this arena here outside of Ottawa. Mucky is cleared back to the blue line, held in by Richards. He shoots wide on purpose. Try to get a tip, but it didn't work. Well, it's the second time in the second period where Jeff Carter, he had one on the backhand, that one on the forehand, just missing by an inch or so. And Richards was fooling everyone. Head up, big cock back of the stick. Like, oh, I'm going to take this big shot. Not the case. He puts it off to the side. Out to Carter, but it's cleared all the way back into the King zone. And Jones out into the face-off circle to handle it. Gives it over to Richards. Richards, seven assists in the last five games for him. Now the puck taken away again and cleared out to center ice. And back to get it. Richards going for it. He didn't get it. Picked up on the right side now. And a shot from there by Greening is wide. Rebound. Kings go for it. Had a little trouble here on this power play. They're two of the last 35 with a man advantage. Under the circumstance, at least make sure that the momentum doesn't shift the other way. Yeah. That's one thing. You're in control of the game. And actually, Bob, I think the start of this period was better by the Kings where they had the four check and consistent. And now the center is trying to build some momentum with a penalty kill. Kyle Torres in, and he gets checked there by Muzzin. Kings have it as they start back up to center ice. 12.28 to go in the second period. Driven down deep into the Ottawa zone. Comes around the right wing side. Shot by Voinoff. Covered there by the goaltender. And Robin Leonard 
hangs on, and the Kings have only eight seconds left now with a man advantage. Boynoff spotted, uh, stole there off to the side, and that was one of those fake shot passes. So the Kings trying to add some deception right there. And again, in the Montreal game, they had some nice plays with the backdoor play with Muzzin scoring a goal. Toronto, they had screen with Drew Doughty scoring a goal, and that time Stoll was just a, a tip away from getting it. So not great, but not bad either. A couple chances here for the Kings just making that deceptive play. It was Richards to Carter, then Boyd off to the Stoll. And the Kings win the faceoff here in the Ottawa zone. Stoll gets knocked down. Kings have it in deep. Power play, though, is going to be over right now. The Senators back at full strength. Puck comes back down into the King zone and cleared up ahead to center ice. Tipped across the line to Brown. Here's Brown driving in deep. He gets checked there. And the puck is back to the blue line and a penalty coming up. He's going to take a penalty. Dustin Brown will. He thought he had Carlson beat on a move where he kind of passed it to himself. Reached up with a hand. I think it's going to be a rough something of that. Offensive zone penalty. We'll be back. Well, Drew Doughty expected to make the... Uh, Olympic team for Canada. We have a oh, Darren Granger's going there. He's going to be the head equipment manager for Team Canada. He's also helped out world championships in the past, 2010, 2008, 2006, 1999, 1996 World Cup, 1992 World Juniors. He's been everywhere. <laughs> but congratulations to Darren and Bob. We talk about it all the time. We know about it. We know the work they put in. Everyone, Dana Bryson, helps them out. It's just one of those jobs that you don't get enough credit for, you don't get enough thanks for, but everyone, everyone around appreciates what's going on. Interesting situation. He has to go into a locker room. Different guys he doesn't normally see. Different equipment needs. You know, this guy likes his shoulder pads that way, the sticks, the skates, all those types of things. Got to put it together. Well, you don't get a lot of sleep with that job either. Oh, man. Sleep in the summer. I guess so. Huck is taken across the line now by the Ottawa Senators, and they have the power play. Comes right side. Carlson back over to Spezza. Spezza shoots, and off the glove of Jones. And the Kings unable to clear. Held in nicely at the blue line there. Savinajad hanging, holding it in. Here's a pass around the boards that out of the reach of Spezza back to the blue line. Spezza with it again. He gives it back over left side. Carlson shoots through traffic and a save by Jones, and he covers the puck. Jones was just, Bob, I think at the time, standing as, as tall as possible to see that shot. The traffic was real good by the Senators. But the Kings goal, to any time the puck hits you as a goalie right in the chest, there's the first chance, and it went off the glove and was not controlled. But then later on, the shot comes in. It's a little bit high. You see him take it right there in the chest. That's just good awareness there by Martin Jones. He knew that puck was coming from and what angle it was coming from, even though he had all that traffic in front. Good job by the Senators to get it through, but only one chance, no rebound. Senators have a minute left to go with a power play, and the Kings win the draw, and they clear it all the way back into the Ottawa zone. Cleared there by Doughty, and the Senators back in to pick it up. They're led in the power play by Bobby Ryan, who's got five on the year. Pass over on the right side from Carlson. Picked up by Ryan. Back to Carlson to the blue line. Back to Bobby Ryan. Didn't get it. Comes down in deep. McCulloch gives it to Ryan. Back to Carlson. Carlson shoots. Glove save by Jones. And this one again. There's waving sticks and there's bodies moving back and forth. And I think the Senators have just approached this as keep it simple. And they're doing a good job getting it through. McCulloch gets it going down low. Shot is a wrist shot. He's standing right in front. And at the last second, I think Jones again. Good look, guys. Great look there. Where you just see him kind of, he's half up, he's half down, he's not low, he's not high, but he knows his head is steady, and he's ready for that shot coming in. Face off to the left of Martin Jones, Kyle Torres taking the draw for the Ottawa Senators against Kopitar, and the puck picked up by Joe Corvo for Ottawa. Corvo sends it back to the blue line. Here's Torres at the left side. Torres. Waits, hangs on, sends it across the ice to Corvo, shoots and a save, and again, no rebound from Jones. Gobble it up, Velcro man for the Kings right now. I mean, he's just crunching the arms, both arms, when the shot's coming. So if it does rebound, it goes where he can get it. And then right there, McCulloch's trying to get it out from underneath the pads. One step across. And no need to, to, then to make another save because everything is sticking to him right now. The centers, that's three times here on this power play where they've gotten it through. They're, they're accomplishing what they want to do, except they can't get the second chance because of the position 
and the comfort of the goaltender. Zach Smith now to take the face off for the Ottawa Senators again in the King zone, but they're going to kick him out. Honiger comes in to take the draw against Stoll, and Stoll wins the faceoff. Kings the best faceoff team in the league at uh, about 54.6%. Puck comes back to the blue line, held in there on the power play. Now left side, tipped away there and uh, cleared out the center ice and back down in the Ottawa zone. Well, Craig Boyd out there was just being tenacious. I mean, he, he coughed it up once. But then he made a good play to get back, and it was just kind of a scramble for it. He works at it, and Dustin Brown back on the ice. The Kings kill him. Senators have it, bringing it across the line. Pass on the right side, shot wide, tipped up, sent right back in front, and taken by Brown. Brown trying to clear it out. Got it over to Lewis, but it's tipped away from him. And now around the left wing side, still in the Kings zone. Corey Conacher goes for it, throws it in front, a save by Jones. Puck cleared off the board, and again, not out. Now the Kings have it. They come up to center ice. Give it over to Brown. Here's Brown across the line. Shoots. He needs one point for 400 in his career. Then Carter threw it back in front. Now it comes the left wing to the left point. A shot from there. Knocked down and deflected back out to center ice. Now the Kings can get a little bit flow back into their game. Get the four check goal. Right side. Garcillo shoots and a save. And the puck's still loose. Held in by Carter to Carcillo. Back to Carter. Carter threw it in, and it's knocked down there. And we get a whistle and a faceoff coming up with nine minutes to go in the second period. When we come back, Patrick O'Neill will be on the bench talking with that man. If he goes to the bench, Drew Doughty. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Drew Dowdy. You got the three nothing lead. How's your game change at all the rest of the way? Uh, it shouldn't. Um, you know, we need to play the same way. Obviously, in the first period, it was working. So uh, we got to keep uh, you know the header on the floor, uh, keep giving it to them, not sit back, and uh, not let them create chances. Last couple of games, you faced the, the last two Norris Trophy winners, and Sue Man and, and today Carlson. Uh, how, how do you like the matchup? I like it. It's fun. It's a, it's a challenge for me. I like to come out here. I want to outplay that other D-man every time, and, uh, you know, if we want to win games, I'm going to have to do that every night. So I was looking forward to the challenge, and uh, I know we got to keep going here. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Okay, guys, back to you. Play, and here's the pass up the center ice and just out of the reach there of Kopitar. Would have had a breakaway, but it turns into an icing call against the game. Right team kind of looks over at Andre and goes, oh, he could have had that pass right on your stick. And, yeah, Drew Dowdy does get up for those matchups, and Daryl Sutter's not afraid to go to Drew and say, hey, Drew, we're playing Sebastian. Yeah. Hey, Drew, we're playing Carlson. You know, <laughs> just kind of just get it to him there. Just to, and Drew knows the importance to the team. But the one thing that Drew's always had, he, he rarely forces himself on the game. If it's a, if it's a tight-checking game, he'll play that. If it's a uh, room for him to go, he'll do that too. But, of course, late in games, he understands what to do if you're behind or if you're ahead. Hey, Drew, tomorrow night we're playing Brent Seabrook. Right. Duncan Keith. You got it, yeah. <laughs> get it going again. Off the line, pass right side by CeCe, and a shot up high and off the glass. Back out to the blue line. Phillips holds it in, though. Gets it over to Greening. Here's Colin Greening. His shot blocked in front. Back to the blue line. Held in again by CeCe, and down in deep. Centered in front. Kings break it up, and this time get it out to center ice. Good buzzing around there, but the Kings just solid defense. Positional defense. Getting back to the spot before the centers get there. Kings killed that last penalty. They've killed 15 of the last 16 and 28 of the last 30 now and still have a 3-0 lead. We're in the second period. Bob Miller with Jim Fox. And as I mentioned, tomorrow in Chicago. It'll be a 6 o'clock game in Chicago, 4 o'clock in Southern California. That means Kings live at 3.30 tomorrow. But taken by the Senators back in their own zone as Condra moved it to the blue line but held in by Stoll. Now the Kings with it again. Right side, here's Voinoff. Voinoff send it in front. A shot, a save, rebound. Williams, his shot tipped up in the air. Picked up now by Stoll. Stoll gets it to Williams. Here's Williams. Tried to throw it in front. Deflected out left side to Regeer. Condra does not have a stick. We'll see if the Kings can exploit that. And a shot tipped up in the air and played by Voinoff. Voinoff with a little head fake. Trying to get free. Sends it down in behind the net. Tipped around the boards, and the Kings try to pinch in to get to it, but can't. It's cleared the length of the ice, and an icing call against the Senators. And the Kings couldn't exploit Condra, but it ends up in an icing because Condra did not have a stick, and the puck went right by him, and he could not slow it down or tip it. So end zone faceoff, and the Kings have the pressure on again. Kings haven't scored, obviously, in this period, but I, 
if I'm looking at it and breaking it down, I, I like the Kings game better here. here. Just, just the point of attacks and, and the four checks and how much time the centers have. The breakouts in the first were flawless by the Kings. Now it's much better four check. Senators lately beat Buffalo the other night, then lost uh, in a home and home to Buffalo, then beat Philadelphia in a shootout, then lost to Toronto. Now the Kings uh, try to get to it right in front of the net, but it's broken up as uh, going down to the ice was Clifford and the puck cleared back into the Kings zone. Kings will be home next Tuesday night. The Edmonton Oilers at Staples Center Tuesday night to start a homestand for the Kings. Up to center ice now. Pass on the left wing side. Senators into the zone. Jason Spezza, backhander, save made, rebound, save again by Jones, and he hangs on. Well, there's space in the neutral zone. And the Senators really able to build up speed, and Spezza did a job because he, he helped out his defenseman on the breakout, and that created the gap in itself. So by getting back into his own zone, watch the tip pass right there. Look at Spezza. He's coming way, way from behind. And that's going to get you an attack on net because of that speed. That's one of the few times in this game there's been neutral zone space. And Dowdy does the thing there because of that speed. Just get it on the outside, keep it on the outside. And that allows the goaltender to make the save. Spezza now the captain replacing Daniel Alfredson. He was the captain for 13 years here in Ottawa. Then he went to Detroit. Here's a shot from the blue line wide. Rebound held in and shot wide again. Carlson fired from back of the left point on the original shot. Held in now and picked up by Spezza. He had some back surgery last year. Spezza throws it in front. Loose puck. Score! Came over on the left side and Joe Corvo makes it 3-1 to one in favor of the game. He's just getting to the time where you go. You can't allow a goal here at the end of the period. Now there's 6.09, so it's still a long way to go. Spetson took over on this shift. He really did. Look at him. He makes it difficult on Lewis. He extends it. There's the reach factor. Then he gets it to the net. And this time the rebound becomes an issue. And it's because there's a lot of bodies down there by the centers. Corvo's a defenseman. Keep that in mind. But because it's 3-0, you have a little bit more of a green light. You can hang around. You've got to do it. And the centers get the four-check goal that they need to get themselves back in this game. Ottawa back within two. Corvo gets his third of the year. It was 11 years ago today that Corvo made his debut with the L.A. Kings against the Pittsburgh Penguins in Los Angeles. The Kings won that game 3-2 in overtime. Corvo played 14 minutes and 24 seconds in his debut. Always known as a player that's going to get it going offensively. And you watch Spezza. He ends up taking a cycle play here, and he just takes it. Watch him extend. Keep it away. Keep it away. That's just buying time. Then you have defensemen going. Look at Corvo's in behind the net right now. But that's the right read at the right time with the right score. And the Senators get that goal they need. Corvo gets the goal. The assist goes to Corey Conacher and also to Jason Spezza at 13-51. So the Senators break the shutout, but they trail by two. It's the Kings three, Ottawa one. time. You have the coaching staff here, Paul McLean on the right, looking at a few things. Diagramming, trying to get things going. They have it going. They've got that goal to give them a little bit of life, and they had the four check. Of course, Greg Anderson started the game. Was pulled after the first two, kind of softies. Leonard comes in since then. The Kings had a 3 nothing lead. And as I was talking about, I thought the Kings spent a lot of quality time in the offensive zone this period, but the centers, the only team on the board. Paul McLean, coach of the year of the NHL last season. The Kings win the draw in the Ottawa zone. Here's Dowdy. Dowdy turns, shoots, blocked on the way in. Picked up now by Colin Greening, and he clears it out to center for Ottawa. Kings back in together with 5.40 left to go here in the second period. Here's Dowdy to center. Dowdy moves it across over toward Muzzin. Now down in deep, a pass behind the net. Kings go for it there, can't get to it. Muzzin chasing it down. All the way to the blue line. It comes out to center and Kopitar sends it deeper into the Kings zone to get it out of trouble. The last rush attempt by the Kings, an example of what you get when you play Dowdy and Muzzin together. Dowdy started the attack. Muzzin ended up following up. Kopitar in deep wraparound. Kopitar pass in front and shot over the net and picked up by the Senators. Kings had 
Carter right in front. And now back comes Torres down the left side, but he's shut there by Martinez, and the Kings have it again. I think there was a stick involved somewhere right there with Jeff Carter, but Carter's had three opportunities now here in the second to get another one. Senators take it away, but a pass broken up and cleared out the center ice finally by Martinez. He got uh, had a stick in the way of his clearing pass a couple of times. Now it comes over to Williams. Williams in the corner. He gets it back to the blue line. Robin Regeer. Regeer sends it around the boards. Senators go for it there. Voinoff pinches in. Voinoff tipped it to Williams. Williams tried to get to it. Corvo takes it away. Corvo gave it away to Stoll. Now to Williams. Now over to Brown. Brown back to Williams. Wrap around. Knocked away and played by the Senators again. More of what I was talking about. The Kings is very strong here in the second on the four check. Carlson going in to him. Here's Carlson. Sends it right side. And then a shot up high and gloved by the goaltender Martin Jones. Corvo played his 700th NHL game a couple of nights ago. So Joe just kind of hangs around. He's hanging around now. A little dump in. Safety. And the Kings get there first. Kopitar spots Carter. And it may have been a stick, a skate, or something. It looked like Jeff had it, and Leonard was on the far side. He had to respect Kopitar. So Jeff kind of shaking it off here. And dangerous here in the second period, unable to get one by the goaltender. Though. And off the draw here, the Senators got a shot, knocked down. Wirtha shoots wide and off the boards. And it is not cleared out yet by the King. Now it's taken away. Here's a chance down the right side for Richards. Richards cutting in. He shoots and a save by Leonard. Richards gets knocked down and he spins out behind the net. Unfortunately, Bobby kind of spun out before he got to the puck, too. I think if he didn't just, he almost tripped. If that didn't happen earlier on the play, he would have had more time to make another decision. He had more options once he got to the point of attack. Now he got it over to Toffoli. Here's Tyler Toffoli up to center ice. Toffoli. Sends it down in deep, back behind the net. The goaltender goes out, almost got trapped there. Now the Senators dig it out. Up the center ice to Greening. Greening's pass went behind CeCe, and he threw it into the zone, but the Kings threw it right back out again. Now the Kings back in to get it. Trevor Lewis, but it rolls away, and they get it over to Martinez. Now up ahead to center ice. Hard check thrown there as the puck is picked up by the Ottawa Senators in their own zone. It was Carcillo who got hit pretty good, but he comes back to take the puck. Here's Carcillo across the line, in the slot, shoots, the block. Carcillo again. He holds it in. Tries to get it into Jordan Nolan. Nolan battles behind the net. Trevor Lewis is there. Puck comes loose and chopped out to center ice and back into the King zone. 2.38 to go in the second period. Kings at center ice. Kopitar sends it back behind the net. Chris Phillips breaks it up there and gives it to Carlson. Up ahead on the left side to McCulloch. Across the ice it goes to Chris Phillips. Now sent deep into the King zone and uh, Boynoff trying to get there in time. He got checked. He stays with it though and now Kopitar has it. Kopitar flipped it up to center ice. That lob pass over to Carter. Carter threw it left side to Kopitar. Kopitar can't get a shot to the blue line to Muzzin. Muzzin shot, tipped up in the air. King goes for it. He didn't see it for a moment. Now he picks it up. He gives it to Carter. Now to Kopitar behind the net. Kopitar to King. King to Kopitar. Kopitar into the corner now looking for someone. Gives it up the middle. King's in the zone and a dangerous pass of the line there by Carter taken away and back up to center. As a shot is wide by Condra. Carter's pass, there was no room for Kopitar to handle it there. And it's one of those where you're giving your trouble to someone else, but another shift here in the second, Bob, where the Kings took over the cycle. All five men getting involved, all five guys touching it. And but the, the center's credit then that time, they stayed on the inside and took away the, the most dangerous area. Here is Regeer back in to get it. Senators get it out to the blue line, but it comes out to center ice. Now the Kings again, now over to Brown. Brown looking for that 400th point of his career. He needs only one. He shoots, knocked down in front. Stoll can't get to it. Then a save by Robin Leonard with a minute four to go in the second period. And um, back to that hunger I was talking about on the first game of the road trip. The Kings forwards are just really hungry for the puck. Here's Richards, and he just gets to, he just stumbled there, just bit right there. And that just kind of just cost him a half second or so. Then the, the lob pass attempt by Kopitar to Carter. 
the Kings just had that spacing, and, and that line has been really good in today's game where, you know, the first two men are involved, but the third man is back as a safety, and he's in a good position offensively. You get the control, try to put it on net. Senators chase it down their own zone, and it's cleared by Cody Cece out the center, but sent right back in behind the net. Chris Phillips has it there. Less than a minute to go now here in the second period. Pass up to center ice, taken away by Kyle Clifford. Clifford's pass down in deep, picked up by Voinoff. Voinoff pass held in by Conacher for Ottawa. Tipped away, though, by Voinoff. He gets it to Clifford. Clifford with it. He cleared it to the blue line, but not out the center. Then a shot knocked down. Loose puck in the corner. Voinoff goes for it again. Senators jump on the loose puck. Pass to the blue line to Chris Phillips. He shoots. It's tipped wide. Picked up behind the net now by Spezza. Jason Spezza goes to the right side. Turns. His pass taken away by Regeer. And he cleared it out to center ice. And then it's taken by Clifford, who drives it the rest of the way. Stick position by the veteran defenseman. Spezza that time again tried to buy time for himself, but the reach of Rob Neuer gets it done. And uh, the Ottawa Center is content right here to just let it roll out. Not going to be enough time here for the shot by Bobby Ryan. And so, you know, it's a weird game I'd describe it as then because of what happened in the first. The Kings had a 3-0 lead on the first two goals. Not dominating pressure. The Kings, I thought, had much more offensive time Offensive zone time. Joe Corvo gets the only goal there of the period. Robin Regeer a couple times. Solid defensive plays, but I like the Kings' approach. They had a lead and they kept going forward. The only goal in that period. Joe Corvo of Ottawa gets his third from Conacher and Spezza at 13:51, 3-1. Tomorrow the Kings will be in Chicago to take on the number one team in the league, the Chicago Blackhawks. And Patrick and Darrell look ahead to the game tomorrow. After this, this is Coach John Stevens, John. Uh, the Kings have been in this situation many times before. Can you can you touch on a few of the keys here going for the final 20? Well, it seems a lot of these teams in the East are very good rush teams, and this team's no different. They've got some skilled forwards. They've got a couple defensemen that really like to activate. So we got to do a good job managing the puck, and we have a really good job with our gaps. When we do that, we end up with possession. That's exactly what we need here to start the period. We hear the term sometimes, John, stay above the puck. Is that what you're talking about right here? Yeah, we use the term on top of puck. So you always want to have a good position. Uh, between the guy you're defending and the net, and we have good position and good gap. Not just be on top of him, but be tight to him. He usually ends up in our possession. All right, John, thanks very much. So if there's no gap, there's no chance to build up speed. There's no speed. The Kings defense can stand up at the blue line. So good assessment there by John Stevens. We thank him for that. We thank all the Kings coaches for their interaction and letting us know what's going on. And you know, he pointed out, we've talked about before, about the Eastern Conference, a little bit of a different style. So you got to watch the rush attack champs because they're going to have a lot of speed. Well, third period begins. Kings have it as the Senators moved it up to center ice, taken away by Dowdy. His shot is wide. Kings have their big line out there with Kopitar, King, and Carter. They've had six scoring chances in the game. Carter's had four of those, two on one shift. Puck is deep in the king zone now and comes out to the blue line. Eric Carlson shoots. It's wide off the board. Rebound. Kings don't clear it out yet. Held in. Senators with a chance. Neal goes behind the net. Neal sends it left wing side. Held in again. Kopitar takes it away. Kopitar checked from behind. Kopitar now put it back behind the net. Intercepted there in front and knocked away. And a penalty coming up here against the Kings right in front of the net with Zach Smith. Looks like Dowdy's going to go off. You don't see this too often. Uh, Andre Kopitar put the puck in a spot where he thought a Kings player was going to be, but it was not. It was a Senator. There's Kopitar going behind the net, and of course the Senators drive back to the front, and there's Dowdy. Yeah, stick between the legs. So Ottawa gets what they need. They get a little bit of a scramble situation. They're able to use their speed. They get the man advantage here early with Dowdy going off for the trip. 47 seconds into the third. And you're right, Jim. If they score here, they are definitely right back in the game. Kings have a 3-1 to one lead. It's the third power play of the game for Ottawa. They are 0 for 2 with four shots. And the Kings clear it the length of the ice. And when that faceoff, Jared Stoll out there, get that drawn. Voinoff was positioned perfectly to get the slap shot down the ice, but that most important thing, even more important now because you're killing a penalty. The rookie, Cody Cece, brings it up the center and a shot and a save by Jones. A shot from out along the perimeter along the boards, and Jones with a save and a faceoff coming up. So Wickhoff is looking for just a stoppage here to, to set it up once again. Stoll will be over there to take this faceoff again, and the center is very quickly 
make a change only 19 seconds into this power play. And now the big boys get a chance to get a breather. Right-hander, Spezza taking the draw. He's got some support. You see the two guys on the board. Right in behind them there. They're not in a position to score, but in a position to try to get that loose puck. Stoll draws it in. He's 54.5 on the faceoffs this year. Battle for it, though, behind the net. Still a battle. Point off there, trying to dig it out, and finally the whistle stops play. And then the center's had a line of, it's new to the last five or six years where you, you put two guys on the board side, and the centerman just tries to keep it. You see them right there? The, so if it, if it stays on that side of the ice, now the centers never get possession, but they're just kind of like outnumbering you. You got the man advantage because you have the power play. Why not take advantage of it here? And they try to do the same thing here. Spezza wins this draw back to the blue line. Senators on the power play. Send it in deep. A shot from a sharp angle. Save made by Jones. Rebound taken by the Kings and cleared to the blue line, but not out. Not enough on it by Voinov. Held in along the boards, and Spezza gets hit hard there. Puck comes down into the corner. Kopitar gets it to Regeer. He's got plenty of space and time, and he slaps it out to center ice. Spezza was a little upset there and looked like he was shaken up, and then I mention it all the time kind of like humorously, but once you realize you're on the power play, you stay out there. No way you're going off when you're on the power play. <laughs> Sent by the Kings back behind the net. Robin Leonard, who came on in relief of Anderson early in the game. Just over four minutes into the game as the Kings at that time had a 2-0 lead. Down the middle, a check throw there by Muzzin. Puck comes into the corner. Now set around the boards over to Joe Corvo. He's got the goal for Ottawa today in the greening. Greening put it behind the net. Puck comes around the boards on the left wing side and cleared out the center ice by Justin Williams. Nice pressure, good reads. The Muzzin's there. Williams collapses down low to help out. Just real good reads by the Kings defenseman to take that pressure and keep it on. 15 seconds left to go on the King penalty. Into the zone. Puck comes into the corner of the King zone. Tipped away there and cleared again all the way back into the Ottawa zone. And that should do it. Only four seconds left to go. Kings are going to kill 16 of the last 17 and 29 of the last 31. Two shots on the power play for the Ottawa Senators. They're in the zone again. Overskated by Conacher and picked up by the Kings. Got it over to Nolan. Nolan chipped it up ahead to center. Kings pass to the blue line. They're trying to get it. Lewis trying to get it over to uh, Carcillo, but it didn't connect. Now Robin Regeer breaks it up, gets it back to center, and the puck taken by Carcillo on the left wing. Carcillo to Lewis. Lewis in the slot. His shot went wide. Carcillo tried to pick it up. And the centers move it up ahead to Corey Conniker. Now to center ice. Condra. Condra moves it ahead to Phillips, but offside. Ottawa at the King Blue Line. Now the centers tried to get gapped there, but they couldn't. John Stevens was just talking about that. Good pressure on the attack when it didn't work, but watch a couple of times here, the Kings. There's Carcillo. Look at Lewis coming across. And by, it ends up, stop here, guys. There's a two-on-two -two with no gap whatsoever. The centers end up into an offside situation. So John was just talking about that. The Kings execute it. It's not a scoring play, but it's a good, solid defense, starting with position. Carter wins the faceoff here for the Kings. And the puck cleared out to center ice. Ottawa with it again. Sent across the line, left side, and chased in deep. Picked up there and back to the blue line again. And Senators try to get it to Kyle Torres, but it's out of his reach. Puck along the boards. Dwight King goes for it there. Now Muzzin comes in to check Torres. And the loose puck is going to come over to Jeff Carter. Now to center ice into the Ottawa zone and chased in there and picked up by Patrick Wirkosh. Back up to center ice. Pass to the King blue line. Into the zone. Senators pass on the right wing side. Chased in deep. Sent back behind the net by Wirkosh. But the Senators get control of it again. Into the right wing corner, then a pass in front to Tourists, and he sends it in front again. To the blue line, a shot, score, and went off the goaltender Jones. And now it's a one goal game as Eric Carlson got the shot. Yeah, now the Senators are just keeping that four check going, and the Kings are not getting any counter attack whatsoever. I think that's a little bit different. I know the Senators had some shots in the second, but the Kings had chances themselves. Now it's just about all Senators. I know the Kings had to kill a penalty. A couple of sticks on Cox, but Tourist keeps it alive. Shot, Carlson, and it looks like Jones has it. Looks like he sees it. 
and it might just fit underneath the glove hand of Martin Jones. He thought he had it even when it went by him. Is it deflected by it? It does. It's not. It doesn't look like it's deflected at any point. You see Ryan coming in from behind. He may have waved at it. But now it's a whole different ball game. And the Kings looking to get a little bit more control back here and put some pressure on the centers. No announcement yet on the goal, whether it was uh, deflected or not. And an icing call against the Senators here. So Jones looked like he had position, looked like he knew where the puck was. It was a little bit higher than the normal situation. And again, is there traffic? Not really any traffic either. It kind of gets by. And it's a wave of the stick by Bobby Ryan. That may have at least distracted Martin Jones. I don't think he got a piece of it, but it snuck home seven hole right under the arm and it gets in somehow and the center's right back in this game. Carlson gets his ninth of the year. The only assist goes to Kyle Torres at 424 the third and the Senators after being down three nothing now trail three to two. It looks like maybe a knuckleball maybe it goes off at Dwight King. The coverage was okay. Of course Carlson's one of the most dangerous guy on the ice so you want to make sure he doesn't get a chance to shoot. At the same time knuckleball works. And just keeping it alive. I think it's a lot of had to do with what preceded that play and preceded the shot with the Kings back on their heels because of the pressure of the centers. And off the draw here in the center zone, stole on the faceoff. And the puck held in by the Kings, but now taken by Jason Spezza. Spezza to center. Spezza right side. Kabinichad to Spezza. Save made by Jones. Great chance for Spezza and Jones with a big save there. Now look at that skating room for the Senators. We just saw a good play gap. Now that's changed. Now the Senators are attacking at top speed. Williams tried to get it out the center. He did, but uh, Puck came up out of play. Spezza has been a dominating factor in this game. And that time he just kind of goes end to end. Takes the face off. Gets taken down by Stoll, but he gets right back up and... He's going to be the man. He's going to give and go and just keep going, keep going, keep going. Get it. Get it back. And real dangerous there on the shot. Very not known as a skater, Spezza, but he showed right there with a long stride how much he can protect the puck once he gets it. Very effective. And off the draw here. The Kings had it for a moment, but Pope checked away from to Foley and then cleared out to center ice into the Ottawa zone. So I'm less worried now, Bob for the Kings about how they're defending and more concerned about how they're doing with the puck and can they just get any type of pressure so far on the Ottawa Senators now we're five and a half minutes in and I really can't remember a time in this period where the Kings did so here down the right side and moving in is Torres backhander and a save by Jones Jones has come up with two big saves here in about the last minute and a half up to center ice is Richards throws it deep into the zone Back to get it. Senators in their own zone. They pick it up there as Eric Greiba had it. Now it's cleared up to center ice. Kings take it away. And it comes back to the centers. Kings zone. Long shot. Knocked away by Jones. And he got to the puck. He was going to poke it into the corner, I think, and then didn't do it. And then he fell on it. So look out. We're going down here in the third. It's a one-goal game. Everybody, I'm Patrick O'Neill. Welcome back. When Justin Williams was growing up in Coburg, Ontario, playing Pee Wee hockey, he used to look up in the stands to see if he could see his parents, Craig and Denise Williams. Most often, he would see them. They're here today. There's Craig and Denise. They're nervous for sure. It gets tougher to go to games when they're NHL, but for them to see Justin play, it's just a thrill for them. They're the nicest people, just like their son, Justin. In fact, a whole bus of Justin Williams fans made the two-hour trip from Northumberland County to watch Justin. Papa Jim. All right, Patrick, thank you very much. The Senators try a pass to the blue line, but it didn't connect. Comes all the way back in their own zone. Corville back in to get it. He almost lost it as Kopitar comes in. Kopitar and Corville battle for it. Kopitar goes down to the ice, and uh, puck taken by Dwight King. King protecting the puck, got it to Kopitar. Kopitar tried to give it to King. King in the right wing corner, out of his own. Up the middle to Carter with a quick shot and a save by Leonard. Picked up by Regeer. Robin Regeer to Kopitar. Kopitar into King behind the net. Dwight King back over the right side to Doughty. Doughty shoots and a save. Puck comes left side, held in by Regeer. Regeer 
check down the corner. His pass taken away and cleared all the way back into the King zone, and it is going to be icing. <laughs> there was a real decision there. Is the puck going to make it or not? And it was bone dead, and the fans don't like that. And so Paul McLean probably doesn't like it either, but the linesman's right there to see. He's got to determine whether the defenseman chasing it is giving it all he can. No Willie Mitchell for the Kings here in the third period on the bench or on the ice right now. So you're down to 5D. You've got to move things around. Shaken up, I believe, in the second period. So that's uh, another thing to concern yourself with. And again, uh, holding a lead, he's one of those guys you want in a situation on the ice because of his smarts and the ability to take away the room with the reach. They've added an assist on the goal by Carlson that made it 3-2. Tourists, and now they've added Patrick Weirkosh with an assist for the Senators. Here's Neal. Out to center ice, batted away and back into the center zone. Senators back over to get it. Here's Joe Corvo. Up to center ice. Puck picked up by Stoll. Stoll, right side in the zone. His shot wide. Picked up on the left wing side and taken there and knocked down to the ice is Brown. Brown's helmet knocked off. And he throws a little check there. Brown made a check just before the Kings got to that puck. And now it comes out to center ice and the Senators. Back to get it. CC's pass. Picked up right side by Chris Neal. His shot is way wide. Puck comes over to the left point. Senators trying to tie it up. As they did on October 9th at Staples Center when they were down 3-0. Puck taken by the Kings along the boards now. And down into the corner to Muzzin. 11.55 to go in the third. Kings come back across the line. Over now to Toffoli with a shot and a save. Rebound comes up the middle. Martinez tried to hold it in, but it was taken away. Pass on the right side. Here's Kyle Torres for Ottawa. Torres, his pass back. Hit the skate there of the Kings, Mike Richards, and he cleared back into the Ottawa zone. And we get some word, Bob, from the Kings, Mike Kalinowski. Public relations, upper body, uncertain about the return of Willie Mitchell. Senators hold it in as Dowdy throws a check. Puck comes down into the corner. Now a battle for it there. Comes around to Dowdy. Dowdy sends it up the right side to Carter, and he bats it out to center ice. Back to get it now, Eric Riba. Riba's pass at center ice. Now taken across the line. Here into the zone. Left wing side, a backhander toward the front of the net. Taken away by the Kings and sent by Carter up ahead to King. Kopitar's on the right side. Here's Kopitar into the zone. Kopitar trying to get around to check. He did down in the corner. Kopitar checked again there. Picked it out to the blue line, but it's intercepted by Ottawa. Back they come into the King zone, but taken away there as the Kings get back, and Carter has it. He gives it over now to Regeer. Robin Regeer chased into the zone. Gets it to Boyne off quickly around the boards and cleared up ahead to center ice. Down deep into the zone now. Kings in the Ottawa zone. Carcillo going behind the net. He didn't have it, though. The puck was still in the corner. Kings get it up the middle. Then a pass out to the right point to Dowdy. He turns and shoots. Deflected into the right wing corner. Dowdy again at the right point. Dowdy played it off the boards to Carcillo. His pass in front. Broken up there. And the Senators clear it up to center ice. Now into the King zone. And Lewis... Wow. Had it go up out of play. Drew Dowdy, just like the old Rob Blake. Yeah. Coming across backside first <laughs> and just misses on the play. Carl's Jr. bringing you the Royal Treatment Sweepstakes. Go to lakings.com slash Carl's Jr. And enter the code you see on your screen for a chance to win some cool, cool prizes. The word is almost like the name. And Dowdy just missed, but he got the job done. He prevented the Senators from getting that speed that they were looking for, but the speed has been there in the third period for Ottawa. We get word that Sean Thornton has been suspended 15 games for that hit last week. They finally had the decision set down this afternoon. So a 15-game suspension. In a game against the Pittsburgh Penguins, Face off of the King zone now with the Kings ahead 3-2 here in the third. And the puck is loose and then a shot from the left wing boards and a save by Jones. Yeah, just a scramble situation. Didn't look dangerous, but it was. It ended up being. And, and now the Ottawa Centers, they're doing some things here on face-offs and keeping pucks alive. We saw a couple earlier on end zone draws on power plays where just working things here, trying to get as many people around the puck. 
Kings win the draw in their own zone, and it comes up and is tipped out to center ice. Face off one by Stoll. Senators back in their own zone. They were down 3 0 at one time. Now they're down 3 2. Kings keep it in. Here's Muzzin, left side. Muzzin threw it down toward the corner. Picked up there and a pass up the middle to Stoll. Right side it goes now over to Muzzin from Dowdy. Muzzin shot hit escape and went wide. Senators with it again and again they can't clear. Kings hold it into Williams. Here's Justin Williams. Checked in the left wing corner. Back to Muzzin. Muzzin, his shot hit escape. Hit the skate of Eric Condra. Kings keep it alive again, though. Back toward the blue line. Stoll, his shot deflected. Senators go for it again. And they're going to have a chance to bring it up to center. They do. Eric Condra on the right side. Taken away by Muzzin, and he clears back to center. Muzzin and Dowd are going to get a lot of ice time here in the set, third period. They're going to get a lot anyway. But of course, with Willie Mitchell unavailable right now, at least at this point, they get uncertain whether he's going to return. Those guys are going to just more and more and more. Long shot by Condra, saved by Jones, and the Kings pass up the center ice. Carter trying to get it to Kopitar out of his reach. Senators back in to get it. Back down in deep, Eric Dreiba. 3-2 Kings with 8.45 to go here in the third. Tipped into the Kings zone. Boynoff goes back to get it. Boynoff plays it up the left side to King. The White King gets it up to center ice now. Picked up there and offside Kopitar. Came across the line too soon. Carter gets checked there by Neal and gets into a little pushing match. We'll be back after this. The game analysis. The Kings. Outstanding in the first again. No goals for 18 straight. Just think about that. 18. Three goals in the first. You see King, Carter, Kopitar. They all got to go in that big line. And Jones did the job then, but of course the Ottawa Center is just kind of chipping away and chipping away. And at times here in the third, getting the speed that they want and they need, uh, trailing by a goal. Took the Kings to settle it down. Bob to that Sean Thornton. Suspense for 15 games. Premeditation, retaliation. I think even more so in the, what he did and even the result. It was premeditated. He thought about it and went in. It was not a good result then. You get 15. Up down the corner, the uh, all-time record is 30. So, got half of that. Puck comes up to center ice. Chris Neal, Ottawa, sends it back behind the King net. Martin Jones sweeps it around the boards. King trying to get there. He got checked. Now the puck comes over toward Dowdy. Dowdy, he gets checked into the boards. Ottawa Senators with a four-check going here, trying to tie it up. Puck is behind the net, and a wrap around there by Greening knocked away. Greening with it again in the corner. Gives it to Neal behind the net. Chris Neal being checked by Kopitar. Neal turns, shoots, and a save by Jones, but the puck is still alive. Back to the blue line and out to center ice. Poked ahead by Carter. Carter then is, oh, I thought, interfered with. No call. Play continues. Puck sent to the center ice area. Picked up by Richards and batted away from him. Wow. 7.28 left to go here in the third. Yeah, you've got to keep your own lane in those situations. You can skate back to a spot, but it looked to me like the center defenseman came across and made contact when it was body or stick, and he certainly impeded Jeff Carter in that situation. Now nice pass out to, to Clifford. Clifford across the line into the Ottawa zone. Clifford down in the corner. He gets checked there by Carlson. Richards comes by. Carlson with it, and he brings it up to center. Pass over on the left side and across the line, broken up by Toffoli, and he got it back to center ice. Clifford with a check there, but the Senators have it again. Set offside, Ottawa at the King Blue line as it was moved ahead by Bobby Ryan, but offside called at the King line. King's trying for the counterattack. Wirkosh stands up and can't get the puck, and you'll see, see him come across that, unfortunately for the Kings, that's interference. You see the referee watched it all the way. He was there. He, if Wirkoff skates back to a spot and stays in his own lane, that's okay. Even without the stick there, that should have been interference by leaning in with a shoulder because the puck was nowhere near him. And Jeff looked at the referee, and, and we've seen it many times before where the Kings forget about those. They don't care about those things. They've been a mentally strong team. They, they just get back to the task at hand, and they worry about what's coming up next. Kings without Willie Mitchell. He played 8.55 in this game, and now with an upper body injury here in front is Dowdy. He scores! Drew Dowdy drives to the net and gives the Kings some breathing room. They now lead 4-2. to two. Well, we were talking about it earlier, understanding, you know, 
what's needed at the appropriate time. Dowdy has that. He's just, he's a hockey savant when you talk about that. You know, the centers have had a pretty good period. He just goes. Could have been a whack there by Corvo. Yeah. And he had to. He had, watch the stick coming over by Corvo. Bang. And that wasn't going to be called either. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because Jared Stoll just follows up. But that's, hey, everyone on the ice has an impact, but that's all Drew Doughty. That's Doughty understanding what's going on at the time, what's needed. The centers were kind of getting a feel for the game, and you just take it to the other team, and it works for the Kings. Here's Stoll back in the King zone. Doughty now to Williams, but he can't clear it out. Held in by Ottawa. Sent to Greening behind the net. He gets checked hard by Muzzin. Puck comes back on the right side. Cody Cece with it, and there was a hook, and uh, Muzzin still got it out to center ice. Looking to see if there's any stray whistles out on the ice. I don't see any. I haven't heard any for a while either. Maybe something stuck in his whistle box. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen that before. <laughs> Puck back down into the King zone. A shot and a save by Jones, and he covers this one up and hangs on. So stole with a goal from Doughty and from Muzzin. It comes right off the faceoff, Bob, with Jared Stoll. It gets it started. We got to stop here, guys. I think Doughty. Again, he has that sense. Look at the four centers on one side of the ice, and look at all the open space. None of the forwards went to Dowdy, and that left him a gap. And then the finish is right there, but it's just that he out when he starts, he being Dowdy, he always seems to have his head up. So when you have your head up and you're in a situation where you understand where the pressure is coming from or is not coming from, in that situation, Dowdy said, there's no pressure, so I'm going to go. And it wasn't a risky play. From that replay, you can see there, everyone was in good position for the Kings, and he read it. And he read it and made it work. So Stoll points now in five of his last six games, and he gives the Kings a 4-2 lead. Huck comes in deep into King in the Ottawa zone. King checked down in the corner. Kings still have the puck now along the boards. Here it's sent down into King again from Kopitar. Over to help out is Carter. Carter's pass broken up and Spets at the center. He's had six shots in the game coming into the third period. Puck comes down in deep to Muzzin. Taken away in the corner, but uh, the Kings try to get possession again. Griba tried to hold it in and it comes free to Kopitar. Now up the right side. Kings come to center ice. Thrown down in by King. The Kings are going to change on the fly here with 5.15 to go in the third. 4-2 Kings. Puck taken away at center ice by Clifford. He just did get it across the line. Now it's tipped there and picked up by Richards. Richards in deep. Checked by Carlson. Griba behind the net for the Ottawa Senators. And now sent up to center ice by Torres. Down into the zone. Bobby Ryan chasing it down. Beaten to it by Regeer. Kings have it. Back up to center. Pass by Richards. Taken by Toffoli. Toffoli trying to go in. He gets checked. And now the penalty called against the Ottawa Senators. It's going to be Corvo. Look, he got away with a slash here on Dowdy. This time he gets it. Oh, the Kings attacking here. Looking to get to two points once again. Third game of a four-game road trip. We'll be back right after this. Ottawa fans here live So can Honda dealers assist of the game. It's helpful. We'll go back a couple games. Muzzin backdoor in Montreal. Power play. Dowdy shot in Toronto. Power play. So that's two in a row. The Kings now looking. They're on a power play here. A chance looking for three games in a row. It may be not as important now because of the two-goal deficit, but at the same time, you want to keep going and keep it going. Has it been a positive vibe the last couple games on the power play? You get a chance? Keep it going here. Kings uh, with a man advantage, 0 for 2 so far in the game today. Puck is behind the net. Jones leaves it there, and now here's Stoll. Stoll got his fourth goal of the year from Dowdy and Muzzin at 13-18 to give the Kings the 4-2 lead. Up to center ice. Kings with it with a man advantage. Across the line is Williams. Williams throws it into Stoll. Now to Brown. Brown back to the blue line to Martinez. Martinez at the left point. He gives it back to Brown. To Martinez, right on the line. Right side it goes. Shot by Voinoff and a save by Robin Leonard. And this is a situational power play, too, where because of the score, you don't want to pass the puck through anyone here. There are times at different scores, you know, you're behind or you're tied, and you might, okay, I'll try this one between a guy's legs. I'll try it over a stick. You don't have to do that now. 
And you want to keep everything safe at the same time, keep possession. You don't want to back off. You want the next one. The next one will put the nail on the coffin. You want to keep going forward, but still, don't try anything risky here with the man advantage. Carter on the draw, but they whistle it dead after he won the faceoff, so they'll do it again. 4-0. Well, they're going to put a little time back. One second. 4-0-4 to go here in the third period. Tomorrow, a 6 p.m. game in Chicago. That means 3.30 for Kings Live in Southern California. 4 o'clock game time. Kings and last year's Stanley Cup champion, or last season's, the Blackhawks. Here's King. King in deep. His pass went into the corner. King goes for it again. Goes down to the ice. In front to Carter. Carter with a backhand. Knocked down there. Maybe on the backhand didn't quite get his stick out. He got the first shot. Then tried to spin around and shoot on the backhand. Tondra into the King zone. Goes into the corner. Falls down. The puck is loose behind the King net. Picked up there. King's in the Ottawa zone to the blue line. But it's held in. Driven wide and comes over toward Jeff Carter. Carter. Back into the King zone to Kopitar. Back to Carter. Carter across the line. Carter is still with it. He gives it to King. King to Kopitar. He scores from the right side. And that makes it 5-2. to two. And as Jim said, you can hear the hammer nailing that call, that nail into the coffin right now. 5-2 to two Kings. And I was just about to say where, you know, you have your normal line combination on the ice. Daryl Sutter goes with that instead of a power play unit. And it was a five-on-five -five mentality. Give and go. Kopitar, Carter. And then watch Dwight King. Wow, this is just... I talked to Dwight earlier in the season when he moved up with Kopitar. And he said, you know what? Now when I play with these guys, I have to... Looking for the same result. But see him, he's make, looking to make a play there. Perhaps with different line mates, it's more of a, a north-south. Get it in deep. Well, that's just a great pass by Dwight King. And, and what a game he has played. Not only the scoring plays... Once again, those numerous plays that, that happen every night that you don't get credit for, where you're just leaning on the other team and you're keeping pucks alive. But tonight, there's been some production, huge production with the Kings getting five. That line has been good. Kopitar with two goals. Now it comes up the middle. Shot by Regeer is deflected wide. Should be Kopitar with his second of the game, 11th of the year from King and Carter. Puck comes up the middle and... Not held in. It comes out to center ice. Senators send it in. And Martin Jones trying to remain perfect in goal with five wins in five NHL starts. Five NHL games. 2.44 left to go here in the third period. Puck cleared out to center ice. You can hear the yelling from up here. It looked like Corvo had uh, Dustin Brown lined up and everyone from the Kings just yelling, heads up. CC with a shot and a save made by Jones. The goal is 11th for Kopitar from King and Carter at 16:42, And the Kings with a 5-2 lead. Kings live presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers coming up right after the game. So, so far on this road trip, well, we've had a chance to wrap things up with Patrick O'Neill and Daryl Evans. It's been pretty positive. And it looks like it's going to continue that way once again here in Ottawa. Great start in the period, uh, first period by the Kings, taking advantage of situations uh, with the Ottawa Senators. Again, Craig Anderson started a goal. When I went out to dinner last night and Craig Anderson was there, Bob, I, I sent him over three bottles of wine. So <laughs> I, I didn't know he was going to drink all three. <laughs> he never knew you'd give up three uh, to him. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's just one that's a tough night, making a light of it, but... The first two were certainly stoppable, especially that yeah. first one by Dwight King where it was a bad angle. But you got to take advantage of it. When the Kings weather the storm, Bob, remember when the centers got back within one, we were talking about the Kings' mental toughness. They've been through that so many times before, and they find a way to pick it up again. This is the Kings' first game here in Ottawa since November 22, 2010. Three years ago. They're 4-2-0 in their last six in Ottawa, soon to make it 5-2-0. Minute 46 left to go here in the third period. 5-2 Kings. Across the line, Ottawa with a shot, save made by Martin Jones. The Kings with that three-goal lead. Ottawa is still trying to keep it in, but can't do it. It comes back out to center ice. So the Kings... Look like they're going to go 8-0-2 in their last 10 on the road. 26 points in 17 road games. That is a club record, the most in Kings history. A couple guys in behind, Bob. It looks like Neil and, not Neil, excuse me, it's Smith and Carcillo. 
Neal tries to join. And the score, the game's over as far as what's going to happen, I, I believe, on, on the board for the two points. Kings came into the game second best on the road in the NHL, first in defense in the NHL. And Jones, five games, he's going to go 5 0 oh, and 0 oh, in a minute eight. Well, they get the two on sportsmanlike conduct penalties here. I want to thank our statistician, Neil Turcotte, our stage manager, Teresa Van Hoof, here in Ottawa today. And the Kings going to get their 22nd victory of the season, and they'll go to 48 points. And with Patrick O'Neill lurking in the back of our booth right now, I'm not going to bring it up, but the Kings have another streak on the line they're trying to keep alive here. <laughs> Senators have it back in their own zone, and now we are down to one minute left to go in the third period. He works well, that O'Neill. He's a good lurker. <laughs> Here's Kopitar looking for the hat trick. Kopitar can't get the shot here. Sends it down in deep. Broken up there, and Ottawa Senators come back up to center ice. Into the zone. Muzzin makes a good play there, but off. Well, we're going to have interference, so maybe not such a good play. But, wow. That was. Yeah. It looked like there was contact all the way with Muzzin. So he's trying to play. He's had a strong game, Jake, in the first crew. We mentioned him with his stick and breaking up plays. And Daryl Sutter, you see him shake his head there. It was one of those you're trying to put the defenseman into a difficult situation. And it's going by, and you didn't see anything there at all. Muzzin yeah. had contact from the point. The attacker lost possession. It's not like there was a, a spot of time there where he had to come across. So four on three here near the end of the third. Senators get it back out to Eric Carlson. Carlson, top of the slot to Spezza. Spezza shoots and gloved by Jones, and he had traffic right in front of him. I don't think Jones knew where the puck was coming from, and he didn't see it until he felt it in his glove. <laughs> we'll see him go into that situation where you're going to go to the butterfly, and he's there. There's the traffic. He hits him in the glove. That's okay. Good position. Now to Carlson again at the blue line. 25 seconds to go. Shot save again by Jones sliding to his right. And now that anticipation coming to the forefront where you're again four on three. It's a little bit more predictable. And you kind of know who's going to be open. If you have that, you get that half-step move before the shot is taken. Kings are going to go 13-1-4 and four in their last 18 games. And the puck cleared out to center and back in the Ottawa zone. 15 seconds to go. Don't forget, Kings Live coming up right afterwards. Patrick and Daryl and Jim. And then we'll greet you tomorrow from Chicago. What a game that should be. Kings and the Blackhawks. Ooh, there's a hard check in the corner now by Regeer on Zabinijad. And Zabinijad thought was going down, and Greening's upset, but it was... It was more a loss of balance, I believe, than anything else. Of course, every close play is reviewed. They take a look at things. It looks like Zabinijad's going to be okay. He fell in awkwardly and hard. And you'll see where Gear comes in. And, yeah, it was on the initial contact, and it wasn't from behind. Watch the arms of Regeer get in front. You see that, right? That's a great look, guys. If that's from behind, if you push on the back, shoulders, or the numbers, different. That came from the front, and Regeer just doing his job. Zabinijad looks like he's going to be okay. That's good news. A good start, good finish. Kings win it. And once again, Bob, they keep the other team to two goals yeah. or less. Martin Jones remains perfect. He's 5-0 and in his NHL career. Kings at Chicago tomorrow. 3.30 Kings Live, 4 o'clock game time. 5-2 Kings win it here. Kings Live.